I think I is more like a father since she wants to get things pregnant. I think, genetically speaking, Kunai and I would have the most buff, most well-rounded survival kids because we're both, we're both tough and we both work out. So, I think Kunai and I's kids would be pretty like fierce and powerful, right? And probably sexy, probably sexy. And then, Fish and I's kids would be elegant princesses, really pretty. Like, like models, right? And then... Yeah, I think so. I think that's how... It I think that's... I think that's the best outcomes, yeah. Hmm. Oh, kids, it's Scarla. We should be having kids. <laughs> <laughs> Scarla and I should not have kids. <laughs> Listen, our, our kids would be... Would be... Then no, you shouldn't. We just shouldn't. <laughs> okay, listen, listen. Our our kids would be would be just single cell organ. They they would not be functioning by themselves. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh my, it'd be it'd be kind of horrible actually. <laughs> okay, they're either gonna be like absolute girl bosses or complete girl failures. Cause I'll be honest. Scarlet is kind of a girl boss, not gonna lie. Imagine doing school. School. And Niji and working. That's a lot. And ironically, Scarlet is indeed a girl boss. Is she clumsy? Yes. Is she a danger to herself and others? Yes. But she is a girl boss. I will give her that. And like, as someone who's like a good friend, like, Scarlet truly is my best friend. And so, like, She's wise. She's also wise beyond her ears. She gives great advice. She gives really good advice. Like, I feel like whenever I have problems and like whenever I have like issues, either socially or professionally, I tend to go to Scarla first. Yeah, Scarla and Kunai tend to be the first to be by contact if I need help or support with anything. Like, in terms of like my, my, um, my emotional support group, they're my two first ones I contact. Yeah. There's others, of course, but Kunai and Scarlet, I talk to the most, like... I jump to them first. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. 